Yeah. Some um, tayberry, raspberries, several different kinds, plums, several different kinds of plums, and, and uh, little tiny little figs, little berry figs. Yeah, yeah, little berry figs. Some beans, a little bit of of uh, fennel. It's really good for women, fennel. A little bit of greens, a little bit of bean for protein. And a couple of mulberries. I really like mulberries. But uh, that's breakfast. <laughs> breakfast at the food forest. And uh, these are some lilies. I like lilies. You know. You know. Banana tree. Let's grow along, you know. Little mango right here. Growing a mango. I have two mangoes, three mangoes now. There's another one there. Three mangoes. Tiger lily. Yep. These are uh, crocosmia. I like crocosmia. They're pretty fun. And these ones. Lots of lilies and flowers here. Over there in the in the forest, you can see some more roses in there, and wisteria and kiwi, and there's some pawpaw underneath that, and here's some figs. This is the thickest, gigantest. Here's a pear tree. Lots of pears on it. It's pretty loaded. You know, it's a. Uh, it's got lots of pears. Yeah. And a holder still. Uh, here we go. There's a little better. Lots of pears. Tons of pears. I moved this pear tree in the middle of summer. I co coated it with oil. They were going to bulldoze it, you know. So you coat it with oil and it stops the transpiration. And you can move them in the deciduous in the, in the summertime. That's the only way you can do it. There's no other way. And then way down there, you can see the Budlia davidii. Way through the forest there, it's purpley in color. Yeah, some roses. And then there's figs. Lots of figs. Yes, sir. -y. Lots of them. Oh, yeah. Hello, Brecky for one there. Hello? 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 Brecky for one beside the motor there? Could you take, you. could oh, you, beautiful. that's breakfast for one. I, I'll make another seeing you're here. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of roses. We planted lots and lots of roses. I put them here all the time. I make new ones too. And these are raspberry bushes. These are all raspberry. This is the the um, artichokes, you know. That's the that's the artichokes and magnolia. And we this is the big fig. That's, they have really big figs. It's not even ripe yet, and look how big that is. I mean, compared to my hand, I mean. It's huge, and it's not even ripe for another month. There's another one there. A giant fig. There's more roses. I like roses. You see, this is that pear tree again. I uh, moved here in the summertime. So, uh, it was a couple summers ago. So I put a, a grape onto it to anchor it. And the grape is here, you see, and it grows up, up. And here's the grape here. It goes all the way up. There we go. There's a couple of them. 
There we go. And that goes onto the tree and anchors it. And the tree is loaded with pears. You can, you can see the pears up there. Lots of them. Yeah, and it lived. You know, I moved it in the summertime, middle of summer. Nitrogen fixer. The lupin. Nice. Hollyhock. Cousin to the marshmallow. Very sweet. Here we go, and this is currants, and there's a few currants on here. Not a lot, I just put it in last year. Here's a new fig. You get it from a couple of people down the road that was building a new house, the bulldoze and everything. So this is a new type of fig, I haven't eaten it, but I will. There's raspberries here, there's lots of raspberries. Mm. Mm. Yeah, they taste good. Well, so, hmm. <laughs> just like a bear. I love it. There's one. Hmm, just like a bear. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mmm. So, that's that Ficus gigantus again. That nice looking flowers. I don't really see them too well. Maybe get in close. Maybe not. There we go, pretty bright. Climbing rose throughout this plum tree. You know, it's uh, it's it's very nice to see the climbing rose. And uh, you know, there's more climbing rose. Yeah, climbing rose, lots of fruit too, different plums, you know, all kind of different plums, fruit from the magnolia, let's see if we can focus that in, there we go, oh, that's much better, there we go, fruit from the magnolia, I'll show you its flower. Um, maybe it's already done flowering. Shouldn't have. There it is, there. There it is. That's the fruit. That's the flower. Yeah, it's a big, big flower. Yeah, it's really smoking. And some magnolias are edible. You have to look into which ones are. The, the fruit, I mean. So, uh, yeah, you know, butterfly bush, sumac, this is the lemon sumac. Down here, this is bark mulch on top of layers of kitchen waste and coffee grounds. And layers and layers and layers. There we go. Well, that's the food for us. That's the understory, hey? The understory, it's quite massive. Hey, look at this, even a fig coming up here by itself. <laughs> you, you, you put the chop and drop in and it grows. It just grows and grows, you know? Chop and drop the fig in the winter time. Hollyhock, nice. Very beautiful. You know, an art easel. <laughs> Future homes to bees and owls. I did another video where we took this tree down with a tree service. It was rotten inside a maple. So we're going to make it into a bee home for wild bees and not to be disturbed. Just, oh look, there's a broken branch. What's up with that? Oh, it's an epiphyte. It's one that came off probably from that last wind. But uh, there's some pretty big trees here. There's some really big trees here. 
you know. Uh, sometimes you see birds or raccoons up in here. The odd eagle and owls. And... There's a nice red plum. Oh, we're going to have to have that one. Mm-hmm. Mmm. That's like a ball of sugar. It's a sugar pump from Japan. Oh, oh God. Oh, I mean, it's just great. This is better than good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, that was good. Mmm. -hmm. Boy, if you want to eat too many of them, that's really sweet. Woohoo! Sugar. This is um, a couple different types of palms here. She's loaded too. You see them all? There's lots of them. You know, different types of plums, you know, they're all different. Now, this is the one I've come to have a look at. Now, this one's ready to eat. It's a nice yellow plum. I've been eating it for a few days, so I thought I'd better share it, you know. <laughs> so, there you go. Mmm. Mmm. Very unique flavor. Almost like a texture of meat. It's meaty. Mmm. Good thing it's pretty loaded. <laughs> Oops. There we go. Look at them over there. Look at them all, all the plums. There's lots of them. The tree, there's two trees. I grew them in a bucket. I found the, the, the plum tree in the neighborhood. And uh, I decided to grow, grow my own. So I looked out from a bucket for a year or two. And that was really good. Do you know where it is and stuff? It's good to grow seedlings like that too. Grow them all in a bucket and just look after the bucket until you're ready to plant them. Mm. <clears throat> Going through here. Oh, these are nice. Beautiful. Oh, gotta try that. That's a real sweet one. That's been out there in the sun. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mm. And tea berries. There's lots of tea berries around. And this is grapes. And it's like, this is an apple tree I ate. I ate the apple. It was Johnny Gold. I opened up the gene pool on it. And uh, now we got a whole different type of apple. I waited many years for this. Yeah. Many, many years. So that's a lot of fun. This is the understory of the food forest. It's artichokes, potatoes, and carrots. This is a mulberry bush. Yeah, mulberry there. I eat them all, I cleaned them all up this morning. I ate them pretty good. This is the understory. This is all artichokes and gojis and raspberries and you know, there's another plum tree here. And, uh, this is bamboo, you know. It's a pretty big bamboo, too. It grew over from the neighbors. I use it for stays. Mm, fever few. But, uh, I think I, I think I want some more of these, uh, these, uh, plums before I head out. 
We got a friend coming over later. Hoping to interview him. Very intelligent fellow. What I was talking about was the grapevine goes up into the apple tree and any other tree. And that's where your grapes are. I do pretty good on the grape production every year. Everything does good here because of the soil is amended so greatly and rapidly. I did that rapidly. It, uh, you know, we do chop and drop and then what falls out of nature. But I mean, there's so much available to make beautiful soil. This is, uh, this is the, the forest here, you know, and then there's the forest floor and, uh, raspberries of course and gojis are all part of the forest floor and we like these pollinators it's all part of the forest floor and uh it's uh it's beautiful to see it smells it, the smell is incredible it's, it's just incredible and look at mr burns hello robbie burns how are you mr burns hey Hello, say hello to everybody. Hello, Robbie Burns. Hi, Robbie Burns. Hi, Mr. Burns. Hey, what are you doing, buddy? Hey, hey, little fella. Oh, he's gonna run away. So, yeah. Oh, the, the canopy, you see, it's got kiwi and climbing rose going into the canopy and wisteria and bunch of different vines and uh that's all part of the the canopy it, it's uh you can see the rose here and then you can see the kiwi here the kiwi vine and that's the canopy it's a it's beautiful underneath there it's super cool when it's hot out it's so awesome yeah it's very cool it's my neighbor. Everybody's got a neighbor. And our rose goes over to his place. He does a pretty good job. He he uh, he grows a bit of food. He you know, he's not as advanced as myself, but well, here's a pawpaw. A pawpaw. I put him in a couple years ago. Very slow. I, I I should have put him out in the sunlight more, but I read that shade's good for him for a few years first. Mm. Wow. Oh, we're out of the forest floor now. It's really neat. <coughs> All the raspberries. Mm. Oh, yeah. Millet. Well, at least I was told that. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. 